Hey, this is Shane from BitBison, and uh, while well, I was going to do a tutorial to go over the different level tiles, uh, the different advanced level tiles present in the Verbinon Toolkit, a user of mine was trying to um, use the enemy spawn points and couldn't figure it out, so I decided to do uh, a tutorial on the enemy spawn points. So, as with all the other tutorials, the first thing you need to do uh, is create an empty unity project or if you already have an empty unity project you just go and download the Verbinon toolkit from the unity asset store and extract it into your project what I have done uh, from there is uh, create uh, a temp folder uh, and uh, I have opened up uh, the pattern creator scene found under the TVNT scenes folder and I've created a temporary pattern that you see over here and I've added my character prefab to this pattern so what we have right now is a character with uh, the discrete jump movement style uh, jumping around a pattern now say I wanted to add uh, some enemy spawn points in here so what, uh, what I would do to get uh, an enemy spawn point in here is I first have to enable editing say I delete a few uh, level tiles in here, ground level tiles, I pick the enemy spawn point object level tile and I place that in here and then I disable editing and now this is where my user had a problem when they clicked play uh, he was talking about uh, running into errors and that's exactly what will happen because the enemy spawn points don't actually have any enemies to spawn so what you need to do after dropping these level tiles in is opening your pattern object going all the way down to where your enemy spawn points are the level tiles which represent your enemy spawn points and then uh, under this variable that says spawn enemy types you open that area up give it some length and go to tvnt common prefabs enemies and pick the one enemy that comes with this project and drop it in here now this variable down here is the number of enemies that the spawn point will spawn and this variable down here is the time between the spawn points so uh, these uh, variables over here are uh, the color of the lights when uh, the spawn point is resting and when the spawn point is about to spawn so you can play with those things to to affect the lighting effects here so now I'm gonna have one enemy spawn from this spawn point and uh, let's make that one and one spawn from the next I'll turn this to one and now when I hit play and when the scene loads up I should have my enemy spawning from my spawn points so that's how you do enemy spawn points using the Verbinon toolkit and uh, uh, in the next tutorials, I'll go over the different, uh, uh, the other different uh, levels as present with the sample games.